as we look to complete a sweep in a series that began two weeks ago. It's a makeup game, so the umpires Washington saw for the prior series are sticking around to work one more game. I mean, that's not, that's not, man, evidently a, everything's <laughs> a strike to him today. Abrams is the next batter and will be called out on strikes, but no ejection yet. Ooh. Strike no three way. call. That's awful. Keep that strike three in mind as the page now turns to Arizona's time at bat. Usually in any... The difference between, let's say, outsidedness of these two pitches is about two inches. There's the big hook. After his strikeout, here's the ejection pitch. Really? Yeah. You're going to go there? Yeah, we're going to go there. The Arizona ball call is a ball by about 2.7 inches, while the Washington strike call missed the zone by about 2.8 inches, 1.8 with buffer. So yeah, the strike call was by one-tenth of an inch closer to the computer zone than the ball call. How about that? Here we go, Davey. Let's go. It's always good to provide some context on this if you find it amusing like that. Umpire makes a call. It's the correct call, but the prior inning was not. So that's what they're complaining about. He hears about it from the dugout. And not just the ump. You have pitcher, catcher, and batter all looking in. Not to mention fan one, too. This guy loves Doug for some reason. Oh, there it goes. Oh, and there's four. Meanwhile, the batter noped out of the box, probably ecstatic about the extra pitch clock time he's getting. As the manager says, I didn't say anything. Umpire says, someone sure did, so knock it off. You know what? Take, you take care of your dog out then. Whoever said it... No big secret, Washington probably saw strike three on the iPad and was holding on to it. I wish that I was as happy as this guy. No ejection yet, mind you, and we're on. This may not end well for Davey, but he's still hot about Abrams at bat. I love how the first thing Doug says is, you want to get run. Exiting to argue balls and strikes, of course, but I wonder if the back and forth with Martinez still in dugout went on for too long and created an inevitable ejection situation where there might not have been one. Somebody said something from their dugout. You yeah. can hear Doug Edding saying, pretty hot right here when there's a little bit less of a crowd. Then again, there were multiple warnings or instructions to get back to the dugout. Okay, you're done. There he goes. So it's a parting shot ejection, must have said something while he was walking away, or did he? We'll never know. <laughs> Davey Martinez! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Davey's getting his money worth now. Now well, the Nationals last in the NL East. They're 17 under 500. They're 19 games back. And at least their fans are having a good time starting to chant for their manager. The Giants toward the end of his career when I was coaching there, and he's one of the most mild-mannered guys you will ever oh, be yeah. around. I think this has gone on long enough, Doug. Yeah, Doug, don't start walking Dave back to his dugout to get him off the field or anything. Clearly, that's not going to happen. It's a common game management technique in this sport. If the argument has simmered to a point where you can end it by simply walking the manager back to the dugout, that's what you do, especially if you're a crew chief and no one else comes in to help. Torrey's had a few moments over the course of his managerial career. Gave him a pretty decent amount of rope oh, right yeah. there. And finally yeah. just had no choice. So if uh, you have Doug Eddings in your umpire ejection fantasy league, <laughs> you're there, a winner. Is there such a thing?